Let me get to stuttering John, because before you know it, LT will be here. Yeah, I really want to hear. Are we talking about the practical joke? Yeah. Stuttering John has played many practical jokes on Baba Booey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see, the Gary, stealing of the Gary puppet. Uh, Gary took the Gary puppet to an appearance. Lo and behold, Stuttering John stole it, and I had told Gary, don't you lose that puppet, because I love that puppet more than I love you. Right, the puppet was pretty much new at the time, and... and very popular. You made it clear that you didn't want anything to happen to this puppet. No, I didn't. And, now, ever and since John went and stole it, and Gary had a heart attack all weekend. <laughs> On top of that, ever since the puppet's been a has-been. Right. Um, and then John uh, had a stockbroker call and say that I lost all my money. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which was a real right. good one. And then, and then, you know, I was feeling like... Remember I called you on Sunday and said it's time to do this joke? I went back and took some old e-tapes out. I watched uh, the Learning Annex. Remember with that thing? Now, oh, John, didn't, yes. John didn't think of that, but you were pretty much done with me when John came in to explain to you how boring I was. Yeah. <laughs> prolong it another 20 minutes. That sort of set me off. Gary had a speaking appearance at the Learning Annex, and John went and, you know, got people together to do, do goofy questions on Gary and stuff and ruin his appearance. So Gary said, I really want to get John. And Gary came to me. He says, I'm going to fire John because I know it's not funny. <laughs> but, but I, I really want to fire him. I want to fire him and watch that bastard squirm. <laughs> <laughs> I said, all right, I'm in. What do I got to do? He says, you just get on the air and say you're mad at John, which I did. Effectively. Effectively. Yeah, because the second you said it, John was in a funk. Right. So John was bumming out all the show yesterday after I said I was mad at him. Right, yeah, because you put the final touches on it yesterday. And John knows I actually am mad at him. On some level. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's why I was always conniving and scheming behind my back. I'm not conniving, but that's what was. That's why it was so effective, because right. I know that you've been upset with all this Howard Stern show crew. And all. So Gary hauls uh, John in after the show. Gary has like a little 10-minute meeting with me to make like we had a discussion. Uh -huh. And he calls John into the room. Kathy, and calls me, Kathy calls me first and goes, Gary wants you to stay here before you leave because he needs to talk to you before you leave. So I'm like, oh, no. You do something bad. Yeah, I'm like, you didn't think you were going to get like fired. Principal thing. Well, I started getting a sweat. I'm sweating, you know, you know, I was like, I was freaking out. But you didn't think you were going to be fired. Well, yeah, I thought it was either that or, you know, just another, you know, be, you know, another dose of, you know, uh, another way of being reprimanded. I well, see. you also said something yesterday about cleaning house. Gary was going to do some house cleaning. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, 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 see, you fell for it, too, Robin. I, I didn't fall for anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was hoping it was real. <laughs> oh, yeah, real yeah. fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. All right, so here we go. So here, so Gary brings John into the room, and, you know... <laughs> now, this happened in the jock lounge, because I kept seeing that yeah. door closed. Yeah. We had a hidden uh, camera in the those big speakers that we keep on the floor. Oh. And the premise was that, you know, <clears throat> John had had some wacky book proposal going around <laughs> in his name yeah. that had my name all over it. And I had caught wind of it, for real. And I got really pissed off about it. So Gary uh, went in there to say, hey, it turns out that the book proposal showed its ugly head again somewhere. Uh, and basically, Gary was sent in by me to be fired. Because I didn't want to fire him. Didn't... I didn't want to fire Gar uh, John myself. It would be yeah. too painful. So Gary was going to do it. <laughs> Gary's a hatchet man. Right. <laughs> and Gary played it really well. Because you know, he was almost like, looked like he was going to cry too. All right. Well, here we go. He was upset for you. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. And Gary had said to me, listen, after I fire him, Let's not tell him for a couple of days. <laughs> so I said, you want to know something? I think John would be so bummed out that he might kill himself. Right, yeah. <laughs> I could have. Yeah, I'm He's telling you. He's responsible for a death. I couldn't let that happen. I said, don't let him leave. I mean, you know, <laughs> I fire reached... him, leave the room, and then come back in and tell him because he'll kill himself. I would definitely have reached for that jar of Prozac. Right. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to hear about the binge you went on for three days. <laughs> and afterwards, Gary walked into the office proud as a peacock. <laughs> I got them both. I got them both. Oh, it works so good. I work so hard, and, and you, there's always a chance that something can go wrong. You right. can see the camera, someone could spill it. You try to tell as few people as possible. All right, here we go. Well, I know Gary's been working up to this for weeks. I know. I thought, me. I thought of this. Calling me every day. I thought of this um, the Friday before we went on Christmas vacation. And by the way, it's not even creative. It's like, hey, no. I'm going to take John in a room and fire him. I mean, you know, and watch him, and no, watch no, him get upset. No, the, I mean, it's, it's not, not creative at all. It's not creative, but the setup has to be done right, and I did have to run the cable through the ceiling so the camera worked. Right. <laughs> but the only thing is, like, you know, what's next? Tell me I have cancer. You know, it's only right. it could be worse. All right, well, we'll get to that. <laughs> we got to figure out a good, way, a funny way to do it. Where does the cable have to be run? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up his butt. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm wired, by the way. Yeah. I know. What was I? Uh, is that you whispering? Like, yeah. 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 All of that. He's what are you like, like De Niro. Are you nervous or something? Let me tell you something. This is so elaborate that I had Kathy come and put papers on every chair except for the one I wanted John to sit in. Right. Yeah, those boxes. No, that's why that we'll was. We put boxes on everything so John could only sit in the one chair. Right, because you had a camera. We would right. get the best camera. That was smart. 
Sam, I'll tell you. What I do. So, what I do. Guilty. Guilty already. <laughs> so, I guess, remember that whole thing that went on, like, at Christmas time? You sound nervous yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to. That's why. I'm like, oh, But man. that's great, because but Gary would have terrible time firing somebody. I told him. I said, Not really. I don't know if we <laughs> left it in at one point. I go, John, my heart's pounding. Uh, that's what I knew something yeah. was wrong. And he called me about the book. Yeah. Right? Like the, whole, the whole book. And you said you weren't doing everything. My heart <laughs> pounds. Somehow... Somehow it ended up on Buckwald's desk, right? This whole proposal, right? right. And I told, I, you know, I sat down with Howard, and I told him that, you know, what I'm saying, I said, you know, this I called you about this a couple of months ago, but like Buckwald flipped over, flipped over. Yeah, Buckwald's my agent, yeah. so you know, Gary blamed it that Buckwald was flipping out, <laughs> which is good. So Buckwald's flipping out. Howard then learned of it. He's flipping out. And John's, John's and, panicking. And Gary's heart pounding. Yeah. And Gary sounds like the one being fired. I know. end up on a Buckwald's desk? Uh, sometime last week. How could that be? I have no idea. I have no idea. But Buckwald flipped over it, and I, Howard flipped over it. Yeah, I have a, I find, I have a, a paper. I, 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 I'm firing this, of that guy as soon as, that, as, soon as, as soon as Christmas that thing happened. I know. He sounds like Cato Kaler. Listen to him. Stutter. <laughs> Listen to him explaining himself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I find that good. I have, I have, I have it on pay paper. I don't, no one even knows what he's talking. about. You never know what John's talking about. You never know what he's talking about. All not second. Right, and you had no idea what he was talking about. I had a vague idea, but yeah, I got to hear that again. <laughs> I'm saying I fired the guy ever since that fiasco. Yeah, well, that's not exactly clear. I don't know. Hey, John, can you explain that to me? <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. How could that be? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah listen to his explanation again. But I have no idea. I have no idea. But Buckwell flipped over it, and Howard flipped over it. Yeah, I have a, I find, I have a, a paper. I'm firing that guy as soon as, that, as soon as, as soon as Christmas that thing happened. I know. I fi fired on paper. I got to, I fired, I got to, I fired. You know what? You said he fired on paper. He has keywords, fired paper Christmas. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I just go, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Uh, no, you don't. Fired, no one knows. Fired, you don't even know what he's saying. Christmas said. happened. <laughs> Uh, uh, fire Christmas I, 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 paper. I don't get it. I, uh, fire Christmas happened. <laughs> <laughs> Soon this Christmas that thing happened. I, I, fire. That's what Cato does. Kate, you know what? That's Cato. You know why do people want to slam this Cato's head into a screen? You know, I'm watching TV and I, I swear I've never watched. I'm right, telling did you. Did you watch it again? I have no tune by it. Aww. And this Marsha Clark is angry. Yeah. And the, the the woman comes on the commentator. She says. Why is Marsha Clark angry? Why is she spending all this time with Cato Kato? I go, you don't know why? Who what are you, this? stupid? Van Sisters? I don't know. One of them, the Yenta from Fox. <laughs> they're, they're sitting there and they're, well, let her get on with it. It's like, what are you talking about? This guy is telling you in the one breath that, well, O.J. was a little upset. And he's changing testimony. Of course, he's obviously not being forthcoming. forthcoming. Like John. That's in the paper. I mean, this is exactly what Cato Kaylin says. I love the paper. The paper. I fired the paper. Well, I got to hear that again. This is too good. Over it. And Howard flipped over it. Yeah, I have a. I find I have a, a paper. I, 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 I'm firing this, of that guy as soon as, I, as, soon as, as soon as Christmas that thing happened. I know. I know. And I know. I know. I don't know if like Howard's trying to make an example or something, but I think that like. He's just sort of like, he told me, he's going to come in and talk to you, but basically he told me, like, he's going to, like, let, he's going to, like, let you go. Mm -hmm. um, although he said he'd still use you for interviews and stuff from time to time, but I think, I think that I couldn't really say anything yeah. because I feel like my ass is on the line. You know, I'm treading on, on, on dangerous water myself, and I couldn't really, you know, couldn't really say anything because, you know, I'm treading on dangerous water myself. <laughs> He's not as these barely as coherent as I am. I know. <laughs> it's two incoherent guys with a job. What is Gary talking about? <laughs> say, Gary has to fire you, but he's not clear why he's firing you. And you're not clear on what your answer is. I think Howard's going to talk to you and he's going to let you go, but he will use you on uh, interviews occasionally. But the idea that was a write off. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that was just being nice. Yeah. <laughs> He'll never hear from you again.
Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gary's treading himself. He's treading on thin water. <laughs> I'm treading, Paul. I'm getting on I'm thin doing water. A, <laughs> I'm doing a dog paddle. I'm getting on thin water. Somehow that never sounds right when he uses he those words. He never gets them quite right. <laughs> he's always like, I'm treading on dangerous, dangerous water. water. But he's, <laughs> he's always treading. Isn't it treading on, what is it? It's actually, you're skating on thin ice is what he's trying yeah, to say. Yeah, and treading on what? Where there's smoke, there's wall paint. <laughs> <laughs> there treading, about treading, treading on dangerous ground? Would that be no. it? No, no, no. Treading on... Thin water. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know what you're trying to say. Dangerous ground. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. And it always sounds wrong. Gary always I thought it was just fine. treading water. You know, you know, I'm treading water. No, I'm, I'm, no. I don't know. I don't know what he's Fine. saying. Well, hey, listen, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't attempt it if I didn't know. As stupid as I am, your choice is bad. <laughs> Gary's treading. John's treading. Fire. Christmas paper. It <laughs> <laughs> has me about the T-shirt and about what went on in Dallas and what went on in Atlantic City and stuff. And, you know, he just said, listen, I, I think John's a great guy. But it's just too much. He goes, it's just too much. He's, he's out there doing. But you know what it is? I think it's, it's <laughs> not the event. You know, it's not the book. It's everything that led up to it. And this is just like tips it off. And tips it I, off. You're right. You know, you're absolutely right. It's not just tips it off. <laughs> he, Gary is full of non <laughs> I'm just trying to make, you know, I'm just. He, what are you trying to say there? That's a cliche. Tipped, just tipped it over the edge is what I meant to say. Oh. Just tipped it just, just tips it off. I'm skating on thin ice, and this just tips it off. <laughs> but I think that um, I think he's last call. Like we we call him about that too. But but yeah, but he was really, he's really unhappy about that the way that turned out. I just think that he feels like we're all like hanging on his name and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I can't. I mean, I'm flipped out because I mean, you're like one of my best friends, and I, you know, <laughs> what can I say? And I'm gonna be sorry. What to can see I you say? Go. You know, I said, hey, you know, give me one more chance. And I was like, one more chance, one more chance. You know, I, he, he's like, listen, he goes, it's not only me. Hey, you're a pussy. Why don't you just fire the guy? Yeah, why do you well, think you're going to come hey, talk? Hey, let it Everything go. Howard, Howard, Howard. Well, because I'm not firing you him. Know, but if you ever have to fire him, I, you I, fire I, him. I will fire no, him. No, don't blame Howard. I, me, I want him. Let me ask you something. Why is he saying Howard's going to talk to John? Don't, it's all coming up, Rob. Why don't you listen to the guy? Yeah, come on, give the guy a break. I just wanted to know. See, because we're listening. Because at one point. It's part of his way of so revealing. No, no. And at one point, Howard. Robin, be quiet. I'm talking to Howard. But at one point, Howard was actually going to come and watch it on the monitor, and he thought he might come in. Yeah, no, this was a setup. This was a setup. And also, it keeps John hanging around. We didn't want him leaving. It's Don, they just feel like it's almost like it's if you're dangerous that that you can't be controlled. They feel like everybody, you know, even me and you and Gorilla and everybody's out there doing stuff. And it's just bumming them out. It's just bumming them out. Um, and I know he said he would send you out on some interviews, you know, possibly in the future. I mean, I think he's going to cool off about this. I don't know what will happen, but I know tonight he's not going to send you out on that thing. He's going to, I guess, he's going to um, send Grillo. And he told me to get a hold of a hold of Vic. <laughs> Stuttering Vic. Oh, 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 oh. oh. That's a clincher. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, what are you going to do? No, man. Seven years I've been here. Seven years. Seven years. Seven years of my life. Hundred percent. More than hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. More than hundred percent. See, girl told me before before I went in, like you know, Johnny, maybe it's an April Fool's joke, but. I said, nah, Howard wouldn't sit on the air and all that. This is definitely not an April Fool's joke. Right, yes. I, 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 you know, I, I try, I really, I try to do everything. You know what the problem is? I mean, I could, I could, I could smell it coming for one of us. I could you know, smell it. I guess it's, I mean, so it's, it's could, always smelling stuff. I smell it coming because it was tipping it off. <laughs> In the water. The water was When thin. I was skating on thin ground. On thin water. <laughs> just as easily, it, could, it could have just as easily been me. Hold on a second. I know he wants to come down. I mean, he doesn't want this to be hard feelings. So he wants to come down. And he's going to come down and just hang, you know, just like. That's me faking out of dialing the phone to get him to come down. Yeah, we're in the guest lounge. All right, cool. He's going to come down. He just wants to, like, you know, you know how it is. He just, I mean, he doesn't like confrontation. But I don't think he, I think he appreciates what you've done over the years. Not and really. He wants to, you know. I think he just wants to give you a good send off. Well, I mean, just, I mean, listen, if I were you, I'd be cool. And I, I mean, just shake his hand. I'd be cool because you don't, you know, don't slam any doors. You know what I'm saying? He's going to trash me in the air. I mean, at some point, he's going to have to, at some point, he's going to have to discuss it, but I don't think he'll hammer you. I mean, he'll just say, hey, you know what? We did our time together and it just, you know, became a part. I mean, one thing Howard's really cool about, he wouldn't trash you because he knows that you're going to try to go out there and make a living and stuff and do something. I don't Maybe you can hook up with Conan and get rid of that guy that's... No, 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 no. All right. 
I'll be back in two seconds. I'd rather not work. <laughs> so now I leave, yeah. right? And then I come back and I tell them that you don't want to talk to them. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Don't you, don't hold this against me. No. So I walked out and then I come right back. He's getting fired from a job. He makes no money out. <laughs> and he's bummed. Yeah. <laughs> thought he was going to come down, but uh, he's not going to come down. He said, but he's not mad, you know. <laughs> I just don't have time to say goodbye. I swear to God, I, I tried to do everything. I didn't want to do anything, you know, at all. I mean, this well, how, how are you? I mean, you're in pretty good shape, you know, financially, right? I mean, you got, I mean, I know you're in an apartment and stuff, but, I mean, you're doing okay on the stock market and stuff? Not really. I, after this fiasco, I, I don't even have, uh, I don't have, the only guy we have is Adam. Right. What do you say? He said the only guy we have is Adam. We just had some trouble in the stock market. Hey, oh, John I and see. I just early. Yeah, this, this is morning. all perfect. Everything's oh, going so on here. John just took a hint, so that even so that's not working out. Even, even his stock market yeah. isn't working. Yeah. Right. And then my brother, I was with my brother all weekend. He was yelling at me for paying too much for an apartment. So it's like all just coming in my head, like, oh right. no, like, no, I really screwed up. <laughs> right, but I mean, you, you know, the little money you had from this show is not even coming in. <laughs> <laughs> and you got you still have the deal you still have the other record deal right you got the publishing deal and stuff you still got got all that stuff that's done now that's just you know give you one advance but I mean you can, you're gonna do another record right I don't know depends on what you know and now he's not he's not on the show <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling him at least you got this and he doesn't have any of it yeah so it turns out he has nothing. <laughs> well, now, I mean, he's down to mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> at, this, at this point, I'm, this point I'm, 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 I'm in the fetal position. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm oh, man. On the couch. I can't wait to watch this on the E show. Because <laughs> I, I, I saw it out sitting up, and I slowly, like, yeah. cowered. I, I don't know, man. My, my clothes are rented, man. <laughs> all of a sudden, all the truth, the ugly truth comes out. <laughs> it's not my own teeth. It's all a pyramid scheme. It's all crumbling. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just, I, I, you know, it's just, yeah, I really try, I try to do everything by the book. I went up to him, I talked to him, he told me don't do it. I called him, they, I, you know, and they sent me some proposal. I told him, I told him, do I call him? I said, dude, you, 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 you can't do it. So the let it fire him. I still have the, I have the, I have a letter firing the guy. You still have the letter? Yeah. And I don't know how this could have happened. I don't know how that could have gone anywhere. I I have a... I'm not a fi you know, fire firing the guy, uh, and then I I called you <laughs> that weekend. I told you what had happened. Right, there was a like Christmas time. Robin, remember she yelled at you, freaked out on you, and then and then you <laughs> talked to Howard, and then he said we'll talk. You know, all right, and, you know, and then <laughs> what do you think Karen's gonna say? She's gonna be bummed out. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. It's so long. I'm not your girlfriend anymore. <laughs> I go with the show. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a Grillo. Yeah, I'm dating Grillo now. I think your best bet is to like sort of regroup, like take it easy. Take I don't it know easy. what's going to go on in this, and I could tell you if I could give you two words of advice. Uh oh, here comes the here comes his here reveal. Comes the soliloquy, two words. He's gonna he's gonna now show him the camera. <laughs> Should have had him suffer more. I know, but... It was, yeah, he's it, not it, twisting enough. He's yeah. twisting pretty good. <laughs> if I could give you two words of advice, don't brush, and then you get bad teeth, and someone else will hire you like to hire me. <laughs> so so the, the camera's in the speaker, and I said, if I give you two words of advice, and I pull the speaker down so you can see the camera, and I say this. I think the best two words I can give you is Gary Puppet. <laughs> Gary's so proud of that. He goes, Gary Puppet. It's like Mission Impossible. Yeah, like right, that. right. Like, hey, <laughs> Gary Puppet, boy. <laughs> Puppet. I have two words of advice. Gary, puppet. I have two words of advice. You can smell it coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, you're a dick. You're a dick because you got m twice. And now you know what it feels like to be a man. Hey, hey is, you know what? We're done. Great joke. We're good. We're Great joke. I mean, I'm not going to hate you for the rest of your life like you hate me. <laughs> Come on back here. Come on back here. Come on. I've been planning this since Christmas, and I wasn't even going to. I wasn't even going to do this to you. And then, after you stole the puppet, I was thinking of a way to get back here. I wasn't going to do this to you. And then you did the thing where I lost all my money. <laughs> now, what thing? With, oh. with, with the stock market. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, man. <clears throat> and I didn't leave you hanging all week. We were going to leave you hanging for a day. Howard thought that was too cruel. So I let the, your your entire misery lasted ten and a half minutes. No, no, my entire misery 
started around 9.30. <laughs> but, okay, all right. My entire misery I, was, an was an entire weekend long. You were still like in shock, weren't you? Yeah, I couldn't get I couldn't snap out of it. You weren't thing. even sure if you were fired still. Yeah, I was in like a cocoon. All right. Yeah, because like, it still didn't sound happy. No, no, not at all. Now I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know Just whether to hate... Just your job back. You don't even <laughs> celebrate it. I don't know whether to hate Gary or I don't know how to handle it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to say. Because Gary immediately goes, okay, now we're even... And we're never playing practical jokes on each other again. <laughs> and John's, I know John's already playing. Oh, he's got yeah. something up his sleeve. Well, I already got another one for John. John came down with me yesterday and said, uh, uh, guess, guess what I'm going to do. <laughs> and he already told me he's next question. And it's, it's awful. <laughs> well, I, it's it terrible. was the one that I, I, I refrained from doing because I thought it would be too cruel. Yeah. Well, I got, see, I got another one for you. I was going to get you with two since you got me with two, but I let it be. Right. He has another one planned on you, so. An awesome one. Yeah. He's going to get to the point where they'll be shooting at Yeah, right. <laughs> See, Gary hired a hitman to come kill you. <laughs> but it's only a goof. And then another whole day when I thought I lost all my money. But, uh, but it was Gary. Well, what's wrong? But, but, his idea to f*** the f***ing Gary Puppet. But, but, but isn't this funny? It's beautiful. This is a, it's perfect. It's perfect. You and know. then what? And then what? Is that it? Are we done? Well, or now, or now you got to get me back. No, I mean, you know, my next one's going to be on Scotty. You already know. That. Okay, but you done with me now? Is that right? You got one on Scott coming uh, up? Yeah, the okay. cruelest of all. Really? Shh, don't say it. I want to hear it. Of course, he won't be looking for it now. Mm -hmm. it, would, know, it wouldn't matter. Though. What's funny to me is Scott will have to dub it off. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, Scott will have to make a copy of it so it'll be ready for the air. <laughs> I gotta take a break. <laughs> when we come back, we gotta play Stuttering John at the uh, Oscar party last night. Right, but LT's here, and by oh, now, is he here and by now, Bam Bam Bigelow should be here. Oh, well, if those guys are here, then we'll meet them first. Okay, let them yell at each other like wrestlers. That's pretty funny, John. Yeah. Especially your explanation to Gary. A <laughs> <laughs> Christmas paper on <laughs> fire. <laughs> John, if it's if it's five, five news, this happens. If it's five practical jokes to one, why would you be planning another one? Because that's what he does. Well, no, if, if, you know, on, 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 on the tape, on, on the tape, I said, I go, well, if Howard wants me to stop doing, I'm gonna stop doing it. Oh yeah, yeah, like Howard's feeding you the ideas. <laughs> no, but you I get an idea. Do what Howard do. I don't care. They John, just occurred naturally to John. No, John gets an idea and he goes to Howard. Howard goes, yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> I don't even want to know about John, it. Just do John it. takes that as if Howard's giving him the money and funding him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys work that out. Anyway, uh, let me take a break.